A new coronavirus case has been reported here in Florida. The governor says an elderly man in the panhandle has tested presumptive positive for the virus, and the patient is awaiting confirmation from the Centers for Disease Control. Three other cases in the state are confirmed. The governor also saying five Florida residents who had been traveling in China have been quarantined out of state after they tested positive for the virus. Right now, there are no coronavirus cases here in Jacksonville, but Mayor Curry said today people are being monitored. Do I expect that it's likely that we'll have one? I expect that will probably happen. News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett spoke with the mayor. He's joining us live with an update on the city's preparations. Jim. You know, Tom, I'm standing outside the Emergency Operations Center, and it's right here where they are keeping track of everything that's happening in the Jacksonville area. We've been getting calls all day. The city's been getting calls a day. Lots of rumors out there, but I think it's important to point out there are no confirmed cases here. In talking with people downtown about the virus, opinions vary. I think everything's under control. Hand sanitizer, everyone's taking the appropriate precautions. Well, I'm afraid it's coming this way and uh, we need to be prepared for it. And being prepared is what Mayor Curry says the city is doing. He was reacting to our report yesterday saying the city isn't saying much concerning what's happening locally with the virus. Today, Mayor Curry spoke out saying the public will find out information as soon as he does. We don't have the authority to make the decision of who's tested uh, and when those results are shared. What I will tell you is that if I got a phone call right now from the Department of Health and they told me that we had a positive in Jacksonville, I would share that with you, and that's what the public can expect. Staff with the local health department tells us its hands are tied when it comes to releasing that information. It must come from Tallahassee. We asked about cases in Jacksonville and want to learn more about the handful of people being monitored in the city. The mayor is the only one talking about that. My understanding is that there are people being monitored, and what that doesn't mean that they have symptoms. Uh, that doesn't mean that they believe they're a positive. That means either they've self-identified because they've traveled or uh, maybe they have a sniffle uh, and they are being monitored by the Department of Health. Again, some confusion because health officials can't tell us or confirm if there are presumptive cases, which means it's expected someone has the virus. They can only give limited information on cases confirmed by the CDC. Yet over the weekend, the state health department and Governor DeSantis did talk about presumptive cases. Mayor Curry says he has been in touch with health officials daily. All I can share with you is the information that I have. And I do want to point out, about an hour ago, I was on a conference call with the Secretary of Education here in Florida. They've been talking to all the school systems in the state, checking to see what's happening. Obviously, no schools have been closed at all, no cases at the schools in, in, throughout Florida. But they said they're standing by just in case, and if something should happen, they would treat it like we have with hurricanes. So there is every agency standing by just in case at this point, no cases here in Northeast Florida. We're live downtown, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Jim. We have a special section on News4Jax.com dedicated to all of our coronavirus stories. There you can find the latest facts and myths and a county-by-county -county look at what's being done to prepare. It's News4Jax.com slash coronavirus.